One more time, somebody say, I love credit. God is good. Like, y'all ain't hear what I said. Like, it's eight figure nigga on the mic. Like, come on now. I said, God is good. All the time. Yeah, that's what I like. Up on the people, what you say, Dion? Come on now. Uh, about 50 points. Yeah, that's money right there. That's good money right there. How much? 5,000. Ooh. My motto is I love credit. Yeah, man. Shit, I learned the game from you, bro. I appreciate it. Man, y'all know the vibes, man. We just touched down in LA. BT weekend. We about to go crazy, man. It's gonna be a lot of, a lot of fun, a lot of partying, but more importantly, a lot of networking. If you ain't networking, you ain't working. You feel me? Who I get? I got him? Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Dion, brother. Good to meet you. I need you to take care of me and the white this weekend, man. Y'all see, we got the security with us, man. We got to make sure that we are 100% on point at all times. Got the security with us because we got we to gotta secure ourselves, man. to do is we're gonna try we're gonna have to like try to figure out because i'm gonna get i'm gonna get these four plus plus for the shooter what we're gonna have to do is see because you got three tickets you're gonna get some more what it is what it is what it is it's that dance <laughs> hey about to go to uh, Crypto Arena real quick. About to uh, see, I think we got Cardi B, Gunna, Sexy Red. She gonna be there too, you feel me? So yeah, y'all, it's, it's, it's about to be one. Then after that, y'all know we going to the club. That's all I, cap. I, I don't want to hear it. That's cap. That we over here, we on flow seats. Dang, man. See? See what guy? <laughs> Good things come to those who wait, my boy. I, I, I told him to relax. I told him to calm down. We're going to get taken care of, man. God give me favor. He give me big favor. Yeah, man. We get VIP interest because we got American Express. That's the only, you got, you got only, car, gang. only because we got these oh. just popping out everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Only yeah, because we got right these. Right you know what I'm saying? That's the only way you get in VIP, man. Because you get these.
first got into entrepreneurship when I went full time in 2016, Brianna was my first business partner. No. So like we started in the business because I mean we start we went from a uh, trying to make a thousand a week to a thousand a day to five thousand a week, then five thousand a day, then ten thousand a week. Like we've been through some stuff. I got out of just directly selling life insurance and cause we was like we were door knock, we were cold call, we would drive to people's houses, we were some savages. And I just was like, I wanna do something different. And she 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 watched me grow and she she was like, nah, you doing something different, my boy. <laughs> Me and my boy Smitty just went absolutely crazy at the Mastermind in California. That's right, we are at a mansion, Mastermind in California. And listen, man, the room is actually crazy. The room is lit right now. But we just gave up six and seven and eight figure plays on how to implement it to your business. So that way, if you are a business owner, you can get your first six and seven figure year. But you're looking at this video and you weren't in the room. The reality is that it's time for you to start getting in the room so that way you can get all the information and the plays that you want to get to the next level. The problem that you are having is that you think that paying somebody or being in the right environment is not going to help you when I'm going to tell you that's what got me to the place that I'm at. So listen, position yourself for the proper placement so that way you can have your first six or seven figure year. You just got to get in the room, man. You see it in this, Smitty, because I remember probably about two years ago watching him, sending him a DM. We were talking in the DM a little bit and then it was just like I went from watching Smitty to DMing him, to now we working together. And then what happened was, I know he get this all the time, so I get this all the time. Somebody will DM me and say, hey bro, I've been watching you since, or I've been watching you for a long time. The people are waiting on you to be consistent. So I just wanna learn more. Um, I don't wanna stick around in credit repair long. I really don't. I don't have as many people. I'm not making as much money as I wanna make with credit repair. So that's why I say maybe I should go more towards funding, but then I know the credit repair will go into funding. So. I guess what I'm struggling with right now is putting myself out there in front of people. Everyone knows me for one thing. It's like working a job and maybe just being like a motivational speaker in a way. To try to like dive out and be like, I'm some like credit guru or I know everything about business funding. It's just hard to kind of get out of one niche and go into something different. I'm more focused on just creating like passive income, credit and funding because I'm really passionate about that and like really making a difference in our community. In the past 10 years, I've been navigating through the financial quadrant. I don't know if you guys know about the financial quadrant or the cash flow quadrant. So I started out working, then being an entrepreneur, then being a business owner, and now I'm officially in the investor quad. So I've just started to invest into properties. I just bought two properties. So now I'm looking to get funding, like more funding, so I can stop using my money and just use other people's money. And I've just been learning so much um, through this entire process and I just want to teach others so I just want to be able to teach and language it to our community to so that people can understand that if I can do it you can do it if they can do it we can do it so let's make it happen it's just people watching y'all they waiting on y'all to go be and do like and when I say go be and do I'm talking about you go be who you were made to be and do what you were called to do whatever God purpose is for you only only you know that we don't know that you got to be okay walking into your purpose and being comfortable with that like if you want to get in a home health, like cool, get in a home health care. You want to do like whatever it is you want to do. If you're passionate about that, you do that. If you're walking in your passion, you're walking into your purpose. The reality is that the money is going to follow. Because most people, when they when they look at, oh, I want to make a million dollars, they say, well, how many people can I use to make this money? As opposed to how can I leverage maybe my money to love on the people and then the people are going to pay me anyway And then as I make all this money, I'm just going to continue to pour back into the people The money is going to follow the people, but it follows purpose first We got a dub, got I got a dub for him. I got the 10s 10s is the most comfortable one to hoop in though company 
slogan. My mama people. Y'all hear this, right? And our motto is, I love credit. <laughs> Always be overcompensated. That's just the way life works. Yeah.